Hello guys, welcome to a video for Matt's and today uh, you are having me as a host uh, for this video, uh, 24816 Harry Williams 96. Uh, if you don't know me, I have done a video for uh, Whoadix Reviews in the past, because this is a video for Whoadix Reviews as part of their Matt Smith month. And today I'm going to be doing a review on the two-parter Time of Angels and Flesh and Stone, which of course features the second appearance of the uh, Stephen Moffat creations, the Weeping Angels. Um, hence why the reason, uh, hence the reason that uh, the title of the first part is Time of Angels. So um, this is the first ever two part of series five, which is Matt Smith's first series, um, and. Uh, of course, this is written by Stephen Moffat, starring uh, Matt Smith as the 11th Doctor, um, Karen Gillan, um, and uh, Alex Kingston as River Song. Uh, Karen Gillan plays Amy Pond. Um, so, uh, of course, I'll read you the very short blurbs that the new series, these new series DVDs have these days, uh, because. They're this short, and it's quite. I don't really like short blurbs because it doesn't really fully explain the story, but it does give a brief, decent synopsis um, with a rhetorical question sometimes at the end. Uh, so, I'll read you Time of Angels' blurb, which is Don't blink, the Doctor hunts the last of the Weeping Angels through the terrifying maze of the dead. And this is the blurb for Flesh and Stone, which is surrounded by an army of weeping angels. The Doctor and his friends must escape through the forest vault. So that gives you gives you a few, uh, you know, hints to what the story could be about. Um, basically, the Doctor and Amy land on a planet, and uh, a ship has crashed with which River Song has escaped out of and landed. Coincidentally, inside the Doctor's ship, which somehow happens to be there at the right time, and um, he then they then go into the uh, caves, which I f believe was filmed, which I believe was filmed in Clearwell Caves. I think I've been there actually. At least I think it was Clearwell Caves. I'm not too sure about that, but uh, yeah, um, they go there, and I think the the. Uh, but we're there on the beach. I think that was filmed in Wales. Um, they then go to. Uh, they discover that uh, the Weeping Angels are nesting in some uh, vault place uh, because one angel has survived, so they think it's just the one angel. And uh, the Doctor tells what a Weeping Angel is. Um, <coughs> and uh, they go to. Um, they go to place um, and uh, th they start to explore the caves and they realize that actually the statues that they are coming across are actually weeping angels and they realize that they are screwed uh, so they try to avoid every cost of being um, uh, you know killed by an angel um, but there are a couple of soldiers that do get killed on their way um, and one of the soldiers who gets killed is sort of one of like a key plot point of a not exactly a key plot point but sort of a key moment if you like in the story uh, or two part story um, and uh, but before that however Amy does sort of look into the eye of an angel of course which is quite bad considering that the angel uh, has now made a countdown to her death in about 10 minutes, so she's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. She doesn't know that she's actually counting down to something until she gets to about uh, number 3. So, and it takes her for a while to realise that the, the characters know that she's counting down to something. Uh, I think River Song's the first one to know that she's counting down. And she's counting down to her death, so um, uh, the Doctor helps her to close her eyes and then they do leave her and the soldiers protect her but then they get zapped by the crack in time because they discover it and they get completely wiped from existence and then um that builds up to uh 
I think, although that actually might have been in um, uh, Fashion Zone, that bit. Uh, well, the cliffhanger of um, the Time of Angels, basically what happens is uh, the Doctor points his gun at uh, this, the camera, or the sort of the gravity bulb, because uh, that's where they end up in the cliffhanger. Um, so they have to try and escape somehow uh, by reversing the gravity so they can get up to an escape pod or something uh, or what actually is there is the forest vault they need to try and get somewhere to get to that and I won't ruin the rest of the story but what I will do however is say what I thought about the story itself um, I I did quite I do quite enjoy series 5 a bit I mean it has its ups and downs um, most of it's uh, I'd say it's quite good because I enjoyed series 5 personally uh, there are probably a few people out there who do not like series 5 um, but uh, this two parts are in it I really did quite enjoy um, <clears throat> it's the second appearance of the Weeping Angels as I've said before um, and it's Matt Smith's first two-parter and of course we have a cliffhanger which um, uh, we see the f for the first time the 11th Doctor in a uh, two-parter for this series and he's pretty epic in this cliffhanger um, if you've known if if you've seen it you'll probably agree that is quite it's quite a good scene um, and the the script that he by well, the lines that he said, um, the dialogue he said towards the end of the cliffhanger was just brilliant. I love that. Um, <clears throat> and it has the I am the Doctor theme, which I love personally. I think it's so good. I think it's such a great theme. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, as a Moffat episode, or episodes, it's I quite enjoyed them. I thought they were uh, one of Moffat's best of Matt Smith. Uh, some people may disagree, and obviously, people have their own judgment on episodes of by Moffat or by any writer. And um, yeah, Matt Smith is good in it uh, in relation to performances. Uh, Karen Gillan, yeah, good as Amy Pond, even though I don't really like Amy Pond, but she's quite good. And um, Alex Kingston's good as River Song, even though River Song is now a pile of a shit of a character. Um, in my opinion, she's just now completely waste of potential, and uh, yeah. But this is this episode really focuses on her mystery uh, of what her character could be, a, what could because we always want to find out what her character was, and we thought this could be the episode where uh, we find out who she is, but we never did um, because she said until next time. So. Um, so it's a bit annoying that we didn't find out who she was in this episode, but obviously it was too early in the timeline of series 5 and 6 for that matter. Um, but uh, yeah, River Song is quite good in it. Uh, she's not as annoying as she is in all the other episodes after that. Because um, she get, does get more and more annoying. And just... Uh, um, but, uh, yeah, one of the things that did sort of uh, come to question was um, in the bit in Flesh and Stone where the angels discover the crack and they were worshi worshipping around it, uh, one thing that did sort of get me was how does how did the Doctor get back his jacket? Uh, this is just a small nitpick, but how did the Doctor get his jacket? Um after the angel had it holding in its finger because the doctor was sort of trapped by the angel like this or whatever and uh, he escaped by um, taking off his jacket so he had freedom and um, the angel had the jacket holding on to its finger and uh, I can't remember how the doctor managed to get his jacket back but that's just not really that important um, I really did like actually the um, I really did like the set design of the forest. I thought that was such a cool set. I liked the idea how the trees were filled with technology and you could 
take some of the bark down and you could see the technology inside it uh, which I think was powering the oxygen uh, I think that's correct uh, I thought that was quite a cool idea um, and yeah the set design was quite good um, and obviously at the end you see all these army of angels flying into the crack uh, spoilers by the way I'm, I am sorry um, I should probably put that in the description may contain spoilers uh, but I'm sure look, most people would have seen the episode now because it's about three years old now because it was in 2010 um, <clears throat> but uh, yeah this is really good I, I really like this two part I thought it was pretty good uh, is there anything else I liked um, I quite like the beginning bit of uh, Time of Angels when they arrive on the planet. I like those few scenes where you see them walking around on the planet and you can see the crashed ship. quite like that. Um, one character I did particularly like, and it's a shame that he uh, got killed off, was Father Octavian. Um, because I really did like his character and I was quite... I, I, could, I could relate to him. Um, and... Uh, I think he's married to River's song in this bit, uh, but he does unfortunately die, which is really sad. And the Doctor does get quite emotional towards it as well. So really, that's uh, pretty much it for this review. I mean, as for the Angels, uh, they're good. Not as scary as they were in Blink, but they still, you know, are their usual selves. Um, but, oh yeah, this is a thing I didn't like. Uh, the angel's head you literally saw the angel's head move now I didn't like that I thought I sort of ruined the ideology of them the fact that they can they are statues they can't move but here you saw one move and I didn't like that but uh, apart from that uh, rating I'd give it a eight and a half out of ten because I thought it was one of Matt Smith's best uh, lots of people might agree with me lots of people might not but uh, best performance, Matt Smith. Uh, so, well done. Uh, so, thank you for watching my review for uh, of Time of Angels on Flesh and Stone for Matt Smith Month. Hopefully, I'll make more videos in the future for Hudix reviews. And speaking of which, subscribe to their channel and uh, please do subscribe to mine, which is two four eight one six Harry Williams ninety six. And um, please do check out my other video that I did for Hudix reviews, which was. Why I love the classic series, classic series of Doctor Who. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I hope to make more videos soon for Hudix and uh, stay tuned and um, yeah, subscribe to their channel. They're really good, you know, guys who make great videos. So take care. Bye for now.